From the ribbon under Cross Sections tab, click on the icon Draw Cross Section View icon. Define table type, check scale parameters, as input file layout set current drawing, as input data profile set current drawing. Define first and the last cross section, maximum section width left and right, elevation and humus thickness, check insert roadway and confirm with OK. In the drawing, define the insertion point. Cross sections with roadway are inserted in the drawing. Click on shoulder icon and in dialog box define first and last cross section where you want to draw a shoulder. Check draw in fill, define shoulder length, a slope on the upper and lower edge and confirm with OK. Click on the left edge of lane L2. Once again set parameters for shoulder element and confirm with OK. Click on the right edge of, edge of lane R2. Continue with embankment. Define the parameters and confirm with OK. Click on the left edge of the left shoulder. Repeat the procedure and click on the right edge of the right shoulder. Click on the pavement icon and define element thickness slope and distance. Confirm with OK. Click on lane L1 and lane R1 and press Enter. Once again, define pavement parameters in dialog box and confirm with OK. Click on lane L2 and lane R2 and press Enter. The same procedure defines the second layer of pavement. So we click on pavement icon, define pavement parameters, confirm with OK, click on lane L2 and lane R2, and that's it. Continue with substructure. Define thickness, distance from upper edge, minimum and constant slope, check draw to embankment, and confirm with OK. Click on lane L1 and lane R1 and press Enter. Repeat the procedure for the second layer of the substructure. Define its parameters and confirm with OK. In the next step, click on the ditch icon. Define its name, type, depth and confirm with OK. In the drawing, click on the left edge of the left embankment and on lane L1. You can edit elements with the edit icon. Click on ditch left embankment, in dialog box define all cross section and change inclination value to 1 to 1. With the label slope icon, you can label slope of elements. In dialog box specify labels text height, number of decimal places and slope labeling mark. In the drawing select element you want to label its slope. In the next step, click on Label Distance icon. Define a selection, dimensioning type and dimensioning style. In the drawing, select the element you want to label its dimension. In this video, we label dimensions for all roadway lanes.